Hi guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all subscribers. Welcome to, if you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 7.51pm. So it's 7.51. Um, basically guys, we had another takeaway delivery driver drive on the pavement opposite my flat. Alexa, where am I located? North 7 Corners Road, flat 5 Fritz Apartments in Rochester, Kent. So we had another delivery driver um, ring my buzzer and he looked rather large and scary. Especially for a 5 foot, wom foot, five foot 5 woman opening the door, he looked rather large and scary. I'll show you the photos I captured in a moment. So we had a small silver car parked on the pavements outside Ines Apartments. So I was in my flat at Biggs Apartments. I didn't know that someone was ringing the buzzer. What happened was Max, my chihuahua, barked. So I went to the window and I saw this car on the pavement over there. They're just parking on the pavements. It could knock anybody over. Um, I went to my buzzer and I put it on privacy from the last driver. So I undid the privacy button and it, it, this driver was again on the path for about half an hour, coming back and forth ringing my buzzer about five or six times, which is a harassment. And um, I didn't go downstairs, I didn't go down to them. Then uh, they went away. Then you got this car like my neighbours upstairs with the number plate NUN, N-U-N, going around and it went around the road twice. This navy blue car with the word NUN on it. Can I just get, get something across? I'm not a lesbian. I'm not a NUN. I have been sexually abused by several men and I'm trying to keep myself safe. Um, it doesn't mean you're a lesbian because you don't sleep around. I'm just trying to be quiet and be private in my flat. And it's other people harassing me. Before the drivers arrive, you've got girls waving their long hair, going like this. And I had that at Lansdowne Court. And I'm not getting into strangers' cars. I'm not bringing men into my flat. So I've reported it to the police. I've reported the harassment to the police. And this is the email I've got back. Good evening. I'm writing about the crime you reported to us on the 22nd of April 2023. The details of this offence have been added to the previous harassment report on crime reference number da -da 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 23. We understand the impact that crime can have and we want to reassure you that the information that you have provided to us is important. It can help us build up intelligence that has a positive impact on detecting and preventing crime. It affects how we deploy our police officers and informs local policing. This crime has been allocated for further investigation. An officer will contact you and will aim to keep you informed in line with your entitlements under the Victim's Code of Practice. So I've taken photographs of the cars. I've taken photographs of the drivers. I've also got a number plate of the silver car that was parked over at Ines Apartments. I've got his number plate. He was a really rough looking character and he's ringing my buzzer and I'm a woman and I'm tiny and this is scaring me now. So now I'm going to show you the photographs that I collected from the silver car and then we go on to what's gone on this evening. So look at how big this guy is. Look at this guy that rang my buzzer. Look at him, if you can see, it's quite faint. He's really big. Big bloke with, 
Los Angeles on it. And of course, L-E-S on the end stands for Les. Lesbian. Los Angeles on his T-shirt. I'm being harassed because I won't sleep around with men. This is exactly what one went on at Lansdowne Court and I got caught up in drugs and men abusing me. Right, so that is Ines Apartments opposite me. So they're parked on the corner on the pavement. Small silver car parked on the pavement. There he is again in colour. And I've taken his number plate. It's harassment. There he is going to the silver car across the road. The really big thug looking man. Looked like a thug coming to my doorstep. My neighbour upstairs has been out all day. He's been out all day. The one with the Ford Mondeo. He's been out. I don't drive. So, around 7pm, I took Max out for a walk. And I've actually been scared. I've been afraid. The people outside are actually now beginning to scare me. Their behaviour and their attitude is beginning to scare me. And make me fucking feel awkward. So I goes out of my flat and I've been quiet in my flat, quiet. So I quietly goes out of my flat, goes over opposite, round the corner, round the back of Ines apartment. And there's a guy walking his little girl and she says to, Ma to Max, that's a cat, that's a cat. And he's a dog, isn't he? But he looks like a cat. So he go she goes, that's a cat. And the dad says, no, that's a dog to his daughter. I walk past two sets of couples walking together and I walk onto the field and I've just minded my own business. There's a guy walking a black dog. There's a man like my neighbour upstairs in a pair of shorts. Um, I personally think it was a bit nippy to wear shorts. So he's built like the man upstairs with a pair of shorts on. Uh, my hair is ginger. It's not black. It's ginger. I dyed it red, ginger, it's not black is it? My hair is not black, his hair upstairs is black. So I walk around the field and I'm, I'm already feeling a bit of uh, wary, a bit like what the fuck is going on, who's doing this, are they following me and I keep looking behind my back. There is a white car the, the, one, the one where the bloke got out and let his Alsatian bark at me and Max, that white car. My son used to have a white BMW. He doesn't have a car now and he doesn't live with me. I live by myself. So this white car, like my son's, is parked where the new school they're building. And the guy is sat in the car, but there's no Alsatian. So I go to, towards opposite the co-op. There's two men sat together. And there's an Alsatian dog outside the co-op with a man sat next to it, right? I'm not going in the co-op this evening, especially late at night because of where they, somebody threw, stole food out of the co-op and threw it through the door. So I've got no intention of going to the co-op this evening, not because I'm scared, because I'm not. Fortunately for me, I haven't got the money to go shopping, I haven't. I've spent lots of my money over the past two days, so I'm not going into the shop spending money. And I really only go and get the newspaper, because I like to keep up with the news. So I, I go around the back of Ines Apartments, and the woman up there has got a dog, that really, really loud dog that barks, woof, woof. So you've got a dark, long-haired woman talking with a blonde woman, opposite me and this dog is going woof 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 while I'm trying to go into my flats and I've had a 
stressful day. I don't want stress. I mind my own business. I'm in my flat. I've been quiet. I've been watching the telly, four in, be four in a bed hotel series. My mum phoned me again before they start being arseholes. My mum rang uh, about 20 minutes before I got off the field. My mother rang. And all these idiots were out. Woof! Woof! It pisses you off. It's all staged. It's bollocks. It's absolute crap. And every incident is being reported to the police. Oh, and he isn't in upstairs. He's not coughing. It was the man next door with the blonde woman that started coughing when I came home. He's not in upstairs. He's out. So he started coughing, next door that way, waiting for me, they're, they're literally waiting, would you believe, they're waiting, it's nutty, my mum calls and I've got, they're all on the balconies, you've got a dog woofing, he's coughing, but he's out upstairs, I've had no trouble off of him for days, nothing at all. So they've got to stir, haven't they? They've got to stir it up, try and make me cross before he gets in. That's what they're doing. They're trying to make me angry before he gets in and he's done nothing. He's done nothing at all. He's done nothing. It's crazy. So if we get any more incidents, I've been told to... to to send them to the police, I've got the photos, I've got the video footage of two other deliveries that were delivered, and um, eventually this person or persons will get caught. They will, because the police can trace it. I haven't got the equipment to, to trace where it's coming from, but when you piece things together like a jigsaw puzzle, my mum rings, Every time the delivery drivers have, have delivered to this address, my mum rings first. My mother. All I need to do is go out one more time to one of these drivers and actually tape this Hannah, or whoever it is with a Scottish voice, speaking. And the police will have equipment to decipher the voice. Decipher it, whether it's real or a computerised voice. So don't get too cocky, whoever you are. Don't, you know, this is unacceptable harassment and bullying. I'm nobody's property. Don't belong to anyone but myself. And you should look at the people that are harassing and bullying. They ain't no oil painting themselves by a long shot. I've had food to eat. I've had a burger. I've also had another meal. And I've had various cups of coffee. Why I can't be just left alone, I don't fucking know. And it's getting on my nerves now. It really, really is. I'm an adult, and I'm not a nun, I'm not a nun, who said I was a nun, and who said I was a lesbian, I'm not, no one comes in this flat, no one, no one at all, not a man or a woman, what's wrong with you, you dickhead, every time you do it, you're getting reported to the police, Keep doing it, and you'll get caught. It's as simple as that. I'm not paying for unpaid takeaways. They're coming to Rochester. They're not going to my mother in Chatham. You, you're trying to cover up shit, and it's not working. So get on with your life, and you can waggle your hair, because <laughs> my, my dog's got longer hair on his bottom. See you later.